Jake Ludington here at OpenStack Days in Seattle, and I'm here with Simon Dodsley from Pure Storage. And storage obviously is an important component in any infrastructure, but how does Pure fit into the OpenStack world? So Pure fits into OpenStack. Um, today we are um, a block storage provider, so we fit into the Cinder project. Um, we have a block storage array that is available today. Um, it's an all-flash array, so very high performance, very low latency. Um, so it integrates very easily with Cinder, both as a fiber channel and as a nice SCSI device. Uh, moving forward, we have another product coming out by the end of the year, which will be NFS and will be Object. And we're looking at doing integrations for those particular projects for OpenStack as well. And I probably should have um, backed up a second there and started. For people who aren't familiar with what Pure Storage is, can you talk a little bit about that? So Pure Storage is probably Probably the uh, the newest storage company as a disruptor uh, in in the ecosystem today. Um, we IPO'd uh, about a year ago, um, and we're growing very very fast within the industry. Um, basically, we are um, all flash storage uh, in shared storage, and we what we're trying to do from an OpenStack perspective is be the flash foundation for the cloud whether that cloud be a hybrid cloud or an on-prem cloud, or even maybe a public cloud if, if we're working with the appropriate vendors. Now, as, as OpenStack has started to mature, you're seeing uh, various companies have sort of their own spin on OpenStack or, or a um, kind of a gold standard that they're willing to implement. Red Hat, VMware, HP, kind of all of them have their own implementation to make it uh, easier. Do you plug and play with any of those fairly nicely? Yeah, it's, it's really simple. The integration that we have is very standard. Um, you know, we're an upstream Cinder driver. Uh, it's a very simple thing to add into um, your OpenStack environment. Literally a minimum of three lines in your Cinder configuration file, restart your services, and your, your pure storage array will work. One of the things that we do in, um, in Pure is one of our mantras is simplicity. So we want everything to be easy. Um, and the way we've tried to do that with, within OpenStack is that our driver will do everything. So your cloud admin doesn't need to worry about learning how to do things on our array. You just start the Cinder services and everything that you could possibly want to do on our array is controlled through the OpenStack APIs and through the Horizon interface. And so then what kinds of things does, does Pure do that say um, EMC or 3PAR or whoever else doesn't do? So we all do a lot of the same things. It's just the way we implement it to a large extent. We actually think that, we, uh, so all flash is actually quite expensive. You know, flash is not yet at the price of disk, but when you start putting technologies on top of the flash, so the data reducing technologies like compression and, uh, data, redu and data deduplication, then that can start bringing the price of flash down to the price of spinning disk. And what we do is we do that all in line um, so as your data is going into the array, it's and still sub millisecond, you are getting um, good compression, good uh, data reduction levels, and it's actually encrypted as well over time. Um, but we think we've got some of, the, some of the best algorithms out there to do this sort of data reduction technology. So we think we get much better data reduction overall for most workloads. And so we think that's, that puts us on the leading edge of what Flash can do for you and how you can make Flash as cheap as or cheaper than some spinning disk. And in the context of OpenStack, uh, are you seeing a lot of people wanting to go with an all Flash deployment versus spinning disk? Yeah, people are absolutely looking for all Flash deployments. Certainly if you look at things like service providers, they are wanting to have a top tier of selling a platinum tier of a high performance solution for their tenants. Um, you know, a lot of people who have got their own private on-prem clouds are wanting a tier of high performance because just because you're using cloud-like solutions, it doesn't mean that your applications have to run slowly. They can still run fast by putting them on an all-flash array. Excellent. Well, thanks, Simon. Okay, no problem. Thanks a lot, Jake.